across county good worcester county 50 90 and 589 good good as we travel into Wicomico County, steady shot on 50 from Willage to Pittsville to Parsonsburg. Bypass around town, good and 50, good to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. Aaron Westbrook and hey Aaron Tracy, good morning. It's Hello. Bill and Jessica. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Oh, we're so great. Thank you guys so much for checking in. We appreciate it. Now, look, Aaron Tracy, appreciate you checking in. We will get to your um, you know, audio uh, coming up in a sec, but I have to talk to Aaron Westbrook because <laughs> Riverdale is our show. So I'm sorry that we might have to, uh, you know, put, uh, y- you know. <laughs> He's having a fan moment. <laughs> look, I'm sorry. Oh, the, the, man, look, I'm so happy to hear it. The coldest case is great, and we're going to talk about it in a sec. But you're already <laughs> debuted at number one, so i got to go back to Aaron uh, Westbrook and talk about Riverdale. <laughs> Only if we promise to circle back to 10 days. Of course, of course. Uh, Aaron Westbrook, good morning. Thank you so much for checking in. I'm um, I'm a little starstruck because my wife and I have been watching Riverdale. We started off with the first season, episode one, went all the way through uh-huh. on Netflix. Now on the sixth season, it's six, right? I, I don't know. It runs together. Yeah, we're currently filming um, season six. Okay, so again, congratulations on all your success. Uh, and you came a little bit late to the game, right? Like like in in the uh, in, in the seasons. Yeah, I, I joined. Um, I joined for season five. Okay, so how's uh, yeah. how's it going? Season six is uh, you know after you guys have all you know grown up, come back to Riverdale now. It's Rivervale, mm-hmm. um, but I just saw it's the going episode. Well. It's really you know it's been really exciting and um, it's a great cast. So I have been happy to be up in Vancouver and the character I play, Tabitha Tate. She's wonderful and dynamic and strong and entrepreneurial and you know just powerful in all of these very special ways so it's been a blessing to play a character like her and you're with jughead well i you know <laughs> I, I am i with jughead i'm not sure i don't know if i can speak to that um at, and it, it depends on when you're watching and how you're watching and um we're definitely you know friends on the show right and right he, right Wow. Uh, And, and, you know, Riverdale and Rivervale, when uh, we were kind of like halfway through on Netflix and I saw Rivervale, at first I'm like, why did they change the name? This is getting weird. I don't know what's going on, but it all comes together. You got to like watch it. The only episode that I was a little bit like, man, this is, I don't know, was the one where Cheryl Blossom and uh, that, you know, she's like the healer. You know, and she, and everybody keeps coming to her. All of a sudden, it kind of took like a like a weird left turn, but then it brought me back in the next episode. That was the only one that I'm, you know, I was kind of like, yeah. But then I guess I got to realize that it's coming from the comic books, right? Is that right? It's coming from the comic books, and uh, exactly, it seems like you just got to take it for what it is, and it's a ride, and there are lots of twists and turns, and. You know, we appreciate people tuning in for all of it and all the different opinions that come, you know, come with each episode. But yeah. I would really love to talk about 10 Days, I have to be honest, um, <laughs> yes. with my friend Aaron Tracy, who it was funny because while I was while I was in Vancouver, actually, for my first season, um, Aaron approached me about 10 Days. So I actually recorded 10 Days while I was in Vancouver. So that's the beauty of an audio drama is that you're able to record it literally from from anywhere. So I was doing two projects simultaneously for at least a couple of days, which was really a wonderful, you know, wonderful thing. Well, look, uh, Aaron Tracy, also uh, live on the hotline, writer, producer, director. Um, You know, you got uh, 10 days. Uh, Give us a rundown. Tell us all about it. Yeah. um, And so, you know, needless to say, I'm the biggest Aaron Westbrook fan there is. So I'm happy to talk (laughs) more about Riverdale and other (laughs) projects. Uh, But we were thrilled when she came on for 10 days. It's a show for Audible, so it's an audio drama in 10 episodes, each one about half an hour long. And it's about a player in the minor league who has been struggling for years and finally gets his shot for a 10-day contract in the NBA. And so he comes up with the 76ers and he gets, you know, a very brief window to try to change his life for the better. Wow. Um, It's for basketball fans, of course. Uh, My partner on the show is Steve Nash legendary player, of course, now the head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Um, but it's also a love story, and it's a story about friendship, and I'm really helping people check it out. Yeah, no, absolutely. Definitely looking forward to it. Um, you know, a lot of uh, the, these audio, uh, you know, dramas and, and audio books and stuff like that really have, uh, 
you know, kind of taken off in, uh, you know, 2020, 2021. Uh, have you noticed that? Is that like, uh, like a new phenomenon, I guess? I don't know if it's due to the pandemic or, you know, um, yeah. before that or it's what? It's a brand new phenomenon. Yeah. We, we haven't even had our sort of one big breakout hit yet um, in, in the whole medium. But I think that people are getting excited about them because – Audio dramas provide a sort of intimacy that TV and film doesn't. You know, when you're sitting on your couch at night and the TV is all the way, you know, across from you on the wall or wherever it is, there's a there's literally a distance between you and the screen. With an audio drama, you've just got your characters, your your sort of your friends in your ears with you wherever you go, um, and you know, people are taking advantage of that to create really intimate stories uh, like this one. Right. No, absolutely. Um, definitely looking forward to checking it out. And, and you know, the 76ers, that's our team. Yeah. So that's even more <laughs> intriguing. Philadelphia. That's even more intriguing. So very good. So how did you guys, how did you guys like meet and hook up and, and you know, like uh, get talking? So Aaron and I actually, you know, worked on a pilot together. Aaron, was that in 2016? Yeah, that sounds right. It was a period drama um, about Yale in the 60s and the different students who were attending. And Aaron was one of the, um, it, was very, it was very much a revolutionary sort of pilot. And Aaron was one of the writers and executive producers on that project. So we've stayed in touch with the whole group, actually. There's a number of us who are still very much um, in communication. So, it, you know, anytime Aaron or any of those people from that project um, who've now obviously become friends of mine, reach out with something that they're working on or they're excited about. Um, I'm always game to take a look. And in this case, it really worked out well because I, I thought 10 Days was intriguing and exciting and different. And, um, you know, I think people will really enjoy it. I certainly have. <laughs> Is it something that, uh, you know, you're, you know, you like to do more of, the audio? Uh, you... Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, it, it was, it, obviously, audio dramas come with their own challenges because you know you're not in the booth necessarily with your castmates right. um you're reading opposite readers um aaron was very present which was wonderful obviously as a director to be there to sort of guide but you're very much in there making your own choices um but i have to say that a really wonderful part about an audio drama um is the fact that it's so cozy and intimate even the process um of recording one is just I mean, I went into the studio in, like, sweatpants, and I was drinking tea, and I just <laughs> felt very relaxed in the moment, um, which was great. So I definitely am game to, to do many more of these if they if they fit in with, you know, the type of projects that I'm looking for. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, again, um, it is 10 days. If people want to check it out, how can they do that? Yeah, they could just go on to Audible. Um, I mean, they could search uh, on Google, just Audible in 10 days, or they can go on to the Audible website and search for it there, and they'll find it pretty quickly. Um, the show stars Glenn Powell and Lamorne Morris, Jessica Hack, of course, Aaron. Everybody gave really great performance. And it's, um, it's free to Audible subscribers, which is a great thing, too. Very good. Uh, Aaron, are you still working with Law & Order at all, or uh, not anymore? No, that was a few years ago, but I love my time working on Law & Order. Just getting to, to shoot in New York uh, is such a dream after, you know, all my favorite movies and TV shows seem to be shot in New York. So just getting to do that um, at 60 Center Street or any of the sort of iconic uh, Law & Order locations is it's just the best gig there is. Yeah, no, hey, look, one of our favorite shows now, and it was back then, it was probably years ago when you were involved. So very good again. <laughs> Uh, both of you guys, congratulations on all your success. We wish you the, the best holiday ever. Happy holidays to you and your families. Uh, Aaron you Westbrook, too. Rivervale, I love it. Thank you so much oh, for keeping us entertained. You. Keeping us entertained over the past, uh, well, few months we've been, uh, you know, watching. He's so. hooked. He's oh, hooked. Well, keep watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. But yeah, And, and make uh, sure you check out 10 Days. Yes, Aaron Tracy, <laughs> we're definitely looking forward to checking out 10 Days. Uh, and, awesome. uh, again, you guys have a great holiday. Thank you so much for checking Thank in. Thank you. Time for a quick recharge, and then we'll be back. Power. 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 1017. You can become president of your own company today. Hi, I'm Michael Bell, president of Harvard Business Services, Inc. We have been helping.